Okay, YouTube, uh, whoever's interested. I'm idling on wood gas right here. My injector fuse, that is the fuel injector fuse. Pull that out and the injector stop pumping. I leave my fuel pump running because it's not good to lose pressure in your fuel system. I had to block off one of my holes there in order to get the right mix. But it's a drawing it through and it is sitting here and it is idling off of wood gas. I don't need the cloth in there, but I put that in so that once I get done running, I can test and make sure. I mean, there was no more tar coming out at the vacuum cleaner, but I wanted to make sure it wasn't coming out of there either. All I did is I took a piece of pipe, two inch pipe, and I fit it to the end of the air cleaner, sealed every little hole up that I could find in the air cleaner, also going to the throttle body. And then I took, I don't know if you can see in there, I took a couple of pieces of metal that I had whole saw, used my whole saw to cut out and stuck them into the pipe and put a piece of wire through. And I can adjust, I better not touch it now, I got it right finally. Um, if I was to push that little lever over, a little piece of wire sticking up, that runs all the way through and runs through my homemade butterfly valve. And it is this end is mostly closed off according to this wire is bent over and I marked where closed and where open was and it's almost completely closed off so I've almost got my fresh air closed off uh, well besides a little bit of leak around the butterfly valve and this one is pretty much open so I had to adjust it I just opened my uh, wood gas valve all the way and I adjusted my air valve to get my mixture right so far it is actually just sitting here running it sounds like it's running on gasoline and I can give it some gas and you can hear it sounds like it's running good I don't know how much power I'm going to have But I noticed one thing kind of neat. It will turn off and start back. See, I turned it off. And then in just a moment, it was doing it a while ago. Yeah. We got smoke coming out. And it's just rolling out of there coming out of two of them and then now watch it not work this time ah it did it worked I'm running on wood my truck is running on wood I got some more tests to do to make sure that I'm not gonna burn my engine up or anything uh, I don't want to run it too lean. I want to get me a mixture gauge before I run it high speeds. But the improvements that I did seem to work. Um, I'll show you what I made my insert out of. Sorry if I made you dizzy for spinning around like that. I made my insert from a piece of this right here. That should be thick enough to withstand those temperatures. It's just old gas pipe. And that is what I made it out of. A piece like that, only it didn't have the coupling. It's more, I guess, like this one. And then I took a piece of thinner steel and made a ring that would go around it. Sit up here. Well, if this is sitting up, 
the ring would have set right here and it would have went around it kind of uh, sloped and letting stuff fall down in there and then also the piece on top that I put the ring has got some holes drilled I, got, I think I drilled five of them I've only got four inlets but I drilled five holes I figured the air can come in through those inlets and get preheated in this area which is just imagine that there's another propane tank around it and the air can get preheated in here and come through these holes and down through this down into my shaker grate and out the out the pipe and so far I mean she's idling and I got my saw set up and I was cutting wood and cut about all of it that I'm gonna cut tonight because it's starting to get late but like I said right there's my injector fuse oh yeah there was tar all over that old vacuum cleaner from that last run and once it started getting some of that water on it and stuff I got it on my hands and it won't come off what I'm going to do I made this little box I'm going to hook this box up it's got a switch a couple lights on it and uh, I made two terminal connections one side uh, I'm going to put a circuit going to a mixture gauge and I'm going to use two servos of an old radio control car to control the valves on the um, the valves on the throttle body and I'm going to have it automatically adjust the air and fuel mixture so that I won't have problems down the line because I don't want to run it lean if you run an engine too lean and that is I mean it's an old engine but it's a good engine if you run an engine too lean you're going to end up burning the piston the top of the pistons from what I've heard I don't know never done one like that but I don't want to take the chance on it uh, I'm going to hook a servo to each one of those and I'm going to hook them up to where I can open one completely that will be what is tied directly to the switch I'm thinking I'll make it to where it opens the gas completely whenever I switch it and the other side I will run from the connections if I can get it in frame from the connections on this fuse I'm going to run two terminals into the fuse box I'm going to put an inline fuse because I don't like running anything unfused and I'll run them one side of it into one screw one side of it to the other and whenever you turn it off and I'm going to make the red light light up when it's running on gasoline because running on gasoline is bad it costs money and I'm going to make it turn green when I'm running on wood gas which I want it to turn green because it's uh, green fuel so uh, anyway that's kind of corny but that way I can just flip a switch and it will go through a system of relays and adjust my mixture for me uh, using those two servos on my two homemade butterfly valves but I think I think I'm taking steps in the right direction. I just about fell over a clump of grass. That's kind of weird. Oh well, I'm clumsy anyway. I'm just a little excited because it's the first time I've ever seen anything actually in person run off wood gas. But there she is. Got a few more things to do and I will have another update and let you know what else is going on. Thank you for watching.